So let's first look at displaying our title on screen and then we'll look at creating some posts. So if we had a header and that header had a H1, we could use this interpolation syntax here with two squiggly braces on each side and then we put the name of the variable. Now, we have different contexts inside of Ghost. So a context gives us access to different variables at different times. So on the index page, we have access to things like the blog title, the blog description, the different posts, and so on. You can see the different contexts inside of the documentation of Ghost, but for now, we'll just bind to the blog title. And that's done with at blog.title, and we'll have a h2 for the at blog.description. If we refresh our page, we now get poll and the description of our blog. How simple was that? You could imagine we could style this as much as we wanted. We could, for example, add a background color of something like aquamarine. Perhaps we could then get rid of the standard margin if we had a style tag. We could then say body margin zero pixels. And then for our H1, we could use text align center as well as our H2. So both of these things are centered. We then have a header that has our title and description. Not great, and I definitely wouldn't recommend that you do this at this point in time, but you've just seen how easy it is to bind to the blog title and the blog description. Let's remove the styles for now. And now let's also look at how we can bind to posts. So we've seen the blog title, we've seen the description. Let's see how we can use the for each operator to iterate over our posts. 